Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. We are uh, now gonna tackle Pedro Bay today, get this scouted out as you guys can see. We are in the BM-17. Uh, it doesn't seem to be like a huge map, so we should probably be making a quick work of it. Let, unless they're like uh, little pipelines still blocking our path, we should be making uh, good speed through it. We are again looking for uh, vehicles, upgrades, uh, upgrades more than vehicles to be honest. And uh, let's see how we do. This will also be, I guess, the, not the first outing we've done. We've played around with BM17 a bit until up until now, but uh, it's first. I wonder what this full black thing is. I initially thought it was like asphalt or something, but I have no idea now. Anyways, uh, I was going to say this is going to be its first uh, proper shakedown. To be fair, given the same engines between the BM-17 and the Caterpillar 680 CT 680, I don't particularly know uh, why I would pick the, um, the 680. Uh, this is lighter, has the same amount of strength, uh, can deal better with off-road. So uh, don't exactly know on that point. I'm just accepting all of these uh, quests as we find them, just so we have them active. We should be a bit careful, uh, but it will have much issue, but we are using the heavy winch on this, not the extended uh, winch. So let's try and stick uh, closer to trees than we would usually stick in case of uh, muddy, snowy situations. But uh, in its defense, we have seen uh, even the earlier Caterpillar with the stock engine, let alone uh, the BT-17 with the maxed engine at this point, uh, handle very rough terrain in Alaska. So uh, I'm pretty confident to uh, let this loose upon the terrain. I'm just gonna head through here and grab um, this quest here. Oh. Okay, so uh, this is one of the quests we already picked up and this is where we should be doing the delivery, I think. We'll try not to get too sidetracked, uh, as I said, if we have a task literally in front of us, we'll be doing it. But otherwise, we'll try to stay on track. We, the Alaskan, uh, the Alaskan uh, exploration was supposed to be exactly that, just, uh, just a little trip in to get uh, what we need from it more or less um, upgrades. We also got uh, all of these trucks, sure. Uh, we got the Hummer, which I'm not too happy about, but whatever. And we also got uh, the, the heavy Caterpillar 745C, which I was devastated to see it only uh, takes containers for our cargo. Okay, no upgrades got unlocked by that. There is a goose next semi trailer which we ugh, okay just went by. Would have been nice to get the XP for it. Uh, hmm, interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, continue down this path. Let's hope this is practicable. It should be, given the fact that it's uh, kind of designed like this. 
and cross this river. I have more faith in crossing here than crossing here, just because if this is one of those uh, skeletal bridges, which make it even worse for you to cross, because it doesn't even offer you the ability to go through it, right? Because it already has a skeleton, uh, skeleton setup. Yeah. So we'll give that a shot and see how that works. Again, we are pretty far from making all the areas accessible. I mean, Alaska is still very much inaccessible. It has a lot of roadblocks and stuff like that. Uh, and even in Michigan, uh, Drummond Island and, well, a fair bit of uh, Island Lake as well, as well uh, for us is pretty blocked off. Well, not that it's a huge issue, but uh, at the very least for Island Lake, it's gonna be just a matter of getting a lot of planks where they're needed to make all the bridges. But uh, in Drummond Lake, for example, there's a lot of uh, bridges that require like iron and uh, they're a lot more hefty. Uh, experiences than just uh, putting down two planks and as for Alaska we are not going into Alaska I, I would still rather finish Michigan end to end before we go full on in Alaska so all of those uh, road clearings and such more or less will have to uh, stay uh, undone up until the point where we go like, yeah, we are now doing Alaska. So I'm seeing the snow in Pedro Bay is a lot higher than any of the other Alaskan areas. Which is interesting. Oh, that's an upgrade. I thought we didn't get any upgrades. Well, I guess we didn't. This was not part of the, of the watchtower. This is just uh, something we stumbled over. Huh. Cool. Okay, easy there. I mean, you can totally see how, how this snow is really messing with us. Advanced special. Cool. That's the, for the for one of all the heavy trucks. Yeah, actually, P12, P16, P745C. Um, hmm. I thought the Dairy Longhorn would be in this list as well, but it's not. Either way, uh, more or less, when we eventually get into Russia, all of the heavy trucks will... And, and heavy duty trucks, I think, these are not all heavy trucks, will have uh, the advanced special available. Which is more or less the custom... Uh, fully speed gearbox like with low plus low range high low range whatever which is nice I'm less uh, I, I kind of like these wide upgrades wide reaching upgrades because it's somewhat uh, uninteresting to you know just go around and find like uh, say the ray suspension for the uh, for the Hummer if you're not using the Hummer right I would like those upgrades to unlock, you know, certain significant parts of your truck, less than them seem to be of, you know, aligner trucks, more than they seem to be just uh, an add-on for one truck. I'm heading around the back here, seeing if there's a trailer, but it's not. Also, this is, didn't unlock anything, so it's probably just uh, one of the warehouses or something, or factories that we will get up and running once we uh, start going down the contract list. I mean, Pedro Bay at this point is one of the later areas in Alaska. You can't you can't get here without crossing uh, one other area, I think. So uh, yeah, I guess a lot of stuff in this is this should be more or less the island lake of Alaska, I guess. Uh, accepted. 
Okay, it's speed from Morrison. I'm at our warehouse right now. We're sitting in the dark here. No power throughout the entire facility. Your power pole must have fallen somewhere. You got time to check it out? Maybe. Is that just go there, do stuff? Or is that, uh, yeah, deliver, deliver planks? More planks. And consumables. Either way, nothing I'm gonna worry with right now. Let's just leave them in the dark for... I guess uh, the next whatever long it takes us to get uh, to Alaska proper and deploy here all our wonderful trucks. Delivery point for one of the quests, I think. Although it's weird, it's not marked in any way, shape, or form, but I guess. Uh, let's see if we can make our way to that uh, watchtower. We'll probably have to go through this very thick snow, but it shouldn't be a huge issue. The lack of a differential lock is worrisome on the BM17. That's the only thing why. Well, I guess it matters more for cargo trucks than it does for off road trucks, maybe. Because our trucks will not often carry a lot of load, like you know, for a slot load or something, you wouldn't really want to do it for that, unless the terrain is significant. But oh, that's not great. I don't know. I'll just see. Old Mac and drowned car delivered to the parking. Camera H2. Okay, we kind of don't super care. Oh, to the parking. Oh, so we have a garage here. White Valley Monterey. Well, huh? so we don't have a garage here. Okay, we only have a garage in White Valley. Hmm, that's weird. So I guess parking is just some random parking. Okay, way to make me excited for nothing. Uh, lost car delivery. Okay, let's uh, grab this upgrade. Okay, let's see what this is. This is the raised suspension for Yank MK38. Uh, yeesh. We don't even have this unlocked at all. Or I, I don't even know. Is that map unlock? I don't think so. I think that's level unlock, right? Oh, huh, okay. Well, to be fair, there's no real reason to go to the low range. Well, I mean, to the specific low ranges with this truck, given it. There's no differential. I mean, usually you would, if you are in the first uh, auto gear, you would just uh, switch over to a low plus gear because it's roughly the same speed. But so you can actually get the benefit of the, of the differential as well. But in this case, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, head through here. Let's unlock this family treasure. And um, you know what? Given the fact that we're going that way, might as well get this round hammer. It's not that big of a deal. I'm maybe worried a bit, just a tiny bit, about the fuel usage that I have right now, but if that's a parking, I think it comes with, at very least, maybe come with a trailer store, I think. So we can totally refuel there. M17, I think. This is the stock suspension, I think. This does have, I think, a race suspension, I think, maybe. But it's still pretty bouncy, even without it. Let's get here, let's uh, 
Listen, I have a favor to ask. My dad owns a farm near here. I wanted to bring him some of our old family furniture to my house, but so far everyone's afraid that the roads are too treacherous. Will you help us out? Yeah, IKEA delivery, that's me. Okay then, uh, we will get right on that, sir. We'll deliver your furniture as soon as I can be arsed. So, let's head back and continue on. Again, it's like these guys haven't heard of phones. They could just call me up and I'm like, hey, yeah, that contract, I'm gonna be doing it. Not having to actually get me to drive all the way into the bump of nowhere. To say, yes, I will deliver that for you. left here. What that sign say? Private property. No trespassing. Well, I think we could just trespass, so... Okay, let's accept this. Interested in a small side gig? Yeah, sure, always. A hunter managed to run his truck into the swamp hill swamp while chasing a moose. We'd send a tow truck, but they're all out to on other jobs. You interested? Yes, why not? This wouldn't be the first uh, Hummer we uh, got out, out of the water in Alaska, so all good. Apparently these uh, Hummer drivers have problems. Anyway, between the heavy winch and literally the power in this, I'm not worried. And by the way, in case anyone's wondering, it's little uh, flaps on the front here, on the truck. Uh, because I've made such a big point of the roll bars on the P12s, these are just textile, whatever, rubber, they don't interact with the environment, so that's always, that's great. Okay, let's get this hitched up, and let's check our map. Uh, let's go through here, run around there, and I think that's where we should be taking this, right? Let's activate that uh, quest, track it up. There we go. Closer. <clears throat> I didn't mention this before, but um, I kind of like Alaska as an area. It seems um, more fun to play in. Just because of how the snow mechanics work out, I guess. But it also kind of tells you, you know, you should not go into these white areas. You know, like in Michigan, you can just off-road everywhere if you really, really want. But over here, uh, it, it, you have, you'll have some uh, payment to do in terms of time and. Uh, fuel costs if you actually want to fully off-road and get through uh, some uh, just cross across uh, some high snow uh, let's be a bit careful here I don't like how how tilted this is let's try to get the right most side here maybe even getting uh, our wheel go on this rock so we straighten ourselves up a bit there we go and now let's take a very sharp left you want to be attacking these inclines as straight as possible let's avoid this uh, log of death if we can because we have no idea how we will to switch our direction or just to get us stuck and of course, more pipelines. Pipelines seem to be a thing in Alaska. Hopefully there's no more broken pipes. You'd think they want to fix that ASAP, you know? But given our uh, short uh, stay in Alaska, we've, and we've seen like three or four broken pieces of pipe. I mean, what are these guys even making their money out of? To be fair, one, of, one was under construction. It wasn't uh, disabled. 
So this is ice, right? Yeah, I guess this is ice. Uh, let's just uh, do the quickly do the um, watchtower here. Oh, of course, it's slightly off. Okay, launch observation. Might as well have a little cutscene here, and then let's check out the map. Uh, there is an upgrade here. Uh, but let's just head over to the parking, if nothing else. We have a fuel carrier symmetry right here, so we can refuel off of. And... Actually, you know what? Let's uh, just head up, head back on the road. Let's get that upgrade. We have 100 liters, that's more than fine. We'll uh, drop, off, drop off this... Um, Hummer. Ever so slightly more worse for wear. And come on. And let's see ourselves a path up here. Okay, shoot straight. Oh, yeah, I was just saying about the broken pieces of pipe, wasn't I? Oh, well, whatever, I guess under construction. I haven't gone to the contracts yet to see what's the state of this place. I know there was a blizzard, but I'm not sure if the, you know, oil pipelines were are new and they need to get done or they're just old and broken. Probably check the global map to get the lore on it. I seem to be the only guy in uh, SnowRunner interested in the lore of things, so. I don't really uh, play in uh, first person, so it's interesting for me to have a look at the. Uh Garages and uh, gauges, gauges, and the uh, things inside. But uh, let's head out and let's uh, start winching just to fast forward this a bit. Heavy winch is really pretty great. And I, I th we haven't really seen any huge swamps in Alaska, so I think for Alaskan trucks we will stick to uh, heavy winches instead of extended winches. Raised suspension for the current truck, that's fantastic. Uh, good for anything else? No, just for the Royal BM17. Okay, cool. Uh, glad we got that solved because at this point this is the truck. I'll be using for off-road in the future. Again, the pace stars problem is that it, the tires are still stuck behind level restrictions. For a truck that's like so low level, and you would expect to find most of the upgrades and get most of the upgrades like good for the fleet star early on, apparently that's just not the case. Uh, I think the chain towers are like level 16, 16. We're well, very level 14 now, I think we're 13, right? Yeah, we're 13, going on 14. And uh, this BM17 at this point is fully upgraded. Okay, let's not forget to grab the Hummer on our way to the parking. we do this on the way? Ah, I can't click things! Damn it! No. <laughs> Me trying to be all fancy. That's a flat for us. I was laughing at how much damage the uh, the hammer was getting, but the joke's on me apparently. So 
what, what is this? Is this like a service area? That'd be great. I don't think so. Also, this again seems like a thing which we will be doing at some point. Oversized trailer. Thanks a lot for helping out. We really got our hands full this season, so anytime you're free to help carry the load, we'll be graceful. grateful. I'll let you know when something comes up. Thank you, mister. I have no idea who you are. Now, uh, do we have any good options? We can refuel here for sure, but do we have any good options for repairing? I kind of wouldn't want to go out there with the uh, with, uh, messed up steering uh, tire. Hmm, guess not. I guess not. Well, to be fair, we only have a single uh, watchtower here left, so that shouldn't be a big, a, that big of a deal. Uh, this is a broken pipeline. Okay. So is there no way for us to cross there without going all the way around? I mean, I guess there it, there is an option for us. Let's yeah, let's do this. Let's just check it out. Let's just check out if uh, it's an option for us to cross this. It's. I have no idea, but that would save us some time and maybe get under that uh, just because we have the water, right? Which is on a lower, lower level. Either way, let's uh, refuel here. Sure, we don't have the time to refuel anywhere else. Let's send out. Could go the long way around. Uh, hmm. Does this seem affordable to you guys? For me, it seems like a very deep lake. But if the designers put this little ramp down here, maybe, maybe it's uh, an option. That is a higher section of uh, pipe there. Okay. I can barely see the bottom, so I don't think so. Are we doing this? Okay, we're doing this. We are doing this. Okay, nope. That's a dangerous water level. So let's try going ever slightly bit more round. Yeah, just here. There we go. Yeah, I think we can totally get under this here. Cool. In before the truck glitches out entirely, horribly. Nope, there we go. That's us under the pipeline. Cool. That uh, shaved some time off of our uh, trip here. So let's uh, head through here. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Going left to right. that all these pipelines sometimes are crossable sometimes are not but it it doesn't seem to be the game isn't struggling very hard to make that clear to you right i went near some pipelines where i thought i had the clearance but i didn't that's the only reason i approached this here just because there was the water there and i knew for sure that uh, the water would grant me a clearance Here. Let's uh, do a quick map check. Uh, hmm. I guess we could take it on the right here. What's that curtain side trailer, by the way? Oh, that's these guys. But sadly, I don't think that's something we can do. I guess we can cross through here if we really want to. But uh, let's just get that to watchtower solved. First and foremost, that's our main uh, reason for being here. to visually see the warehouse maybe we can just go straight through but this seems heavily forested so let's not let's not spend like five minutes uh, getting our tires stuck in trees actually one of the reasons I was um, 
I'm thinking, well, I think it was almost dead set on uh, switching away from the Fleet Star for as much as I love it for the. Um, uh, for the CT680 Caterpillar. It's because the Caterpillar has like fuel uh, tanks in between the. Um, in between the rear and the f and I guess the cab, the rear tires and the cab, which uh, helps us not to get stuck in trees because there's something there to keep the trees out off, right? It's uh, weird how uh, some of these small graphical things, uh, geometry things, uh, are influencing my uh, decision regarding what truck I use uh, to such a degree. But well, that's just the nature of the game, I guess. This is a warehouse, I would estimate. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I get it. So basically, we have to go off road to get there. Okay. I was hoping the road would be straight up to the watchtower. Usually, watchtowers do have roads straight up. But uh, you could entirely miss it. Is this not the path we want to take? Okay, let's go on the left side here. Maybe that gives us a bit more clearance. Okay, that should be it. Upgrades, none that we can see. There's a few uh, things here. Quests, so let's do that. Let's just uh, head up here, get those quests uh, active. And well, let's start hauling this, uh, this trailer from here. Maybe, just maybe, I'll. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do that uh, quest before I leave this area. I have the fuel and... Oh, I, right now I think I also have the path. I, no, I don't. I still have to go via this, but oh well. So, uh, are these all the upgrades in the area? Let's look for objects. Yep, that's all the upgrades in this area, unless uh, there are like some hidden areas we haven't physically, which aren't covered by uh, by the watchtowers and which they do not unlock, but I don't think so, I think that's pretty much it. Well, I guess up here, but uh, I guess that's part of another quest. I haven't seen uh, upgrades being put uh, near major features, they're meant to be more hidden. This trader, if I want to deliver to these guys, yeah, it's more solid to go. Yeah, we should just get out here. So, yeah, I was thinking maybe I should leave it here because we'll be going back the same route, but no, probably not. And I do keep a semi, a, a low saddle, I mean on all of my off-road trucks just because if I ever do need to do some transport on a non-trader while I'm out scouting out and about uh, I do have that option because you could more easily find trailers to fill with cargo than you can uh, find you know spots to get stuck in oh is that the free scout?
Uh, no, that is not a free scout. That's just some good stuff. Uh, scout. Okay. Right, so let's just get this out into the street. Or, uh... Hmm. I'll probably deliver this off-screen. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure uh, I can make an episode uh, just uh, bouncing or bounce around from one thing to, the, to the other. I, I've been noticing that in some episodes I've been uh, just uh, doing like two entirely different things, like scouting with the uh, Chevrolet and then moving to hauling with the P12, and it seems a bit disjointed. I want to keep um, as much as possible the episodes uh, focused on uh, one thing. Either way, we are just uh, heading out to complete those, uh, well not complete, but uh, unlock those two quests there. Not sure what they want of me, but... And you know what, given that muck and given this clearing here, I think I'm just gonna cut straight through. Should be a more uh, efficient route. This is what I mean, you know, when you want to cut through snow, it's going to take you time and it's going to take you fuel. We are burning. I mean, we spiked for 15 liters a minute, but 12, 11, 12 liters a minute is entirely something that can happen. Yeah, what you see right here right now is just the overwhelming power of the upgraded engine on the uh, Royale the M17. Forgot uh, its designation there for a second. So let's uh, accept this. We're moving one of our new stock to a new plant and we'll really use some help. Our local trucks are on it already, but we could use an extra pair of hands for some raining items. Yeah, sure, okay. I guess we'll. Uh, Need the crane to pick up these fuel barrels here and whatever. Let's unlock this trailer here. And let's also activate the uh, Lost Tools again, I think. Yeah, we already have a quest named Lost Tools in Mountain River, I think. Which was cement trucks, cement, uh, cement bags. Hey, it's Mike, Chief Engineer at the Morrison Mining. To cut the long story short, long story very short, we need supplies. I just uh, ordered them through our logistics, but take too long for them to get here. How about giving us a hand? Yep, sure, we, I have a lot of hands to give. But I... Huh, there is something here. Hmm. That's out of range of the... And there's a truck here. Oh, is that the dairy longhorn? Yeah, we should, ha we should find it here. Hmm. Okay, let's... Uh, I Let's do a quick run there. It'd be nice to uh, unlock this. Because I was so disappointed with the 740, 745C Caterpillar, which was just a container hauling uh, truck. I really wanted a semi-trailer and a heavy trailer capable uh, heavy truck and the only one that's actually available to me minus the level 24 one or you know making a route through Russia is the dairy longhorn that can be salvaged from Alaska which I think this is exactly it I was wondering uh, where it is and I thought maybe it would be in White River uh, White Valley but I think it's here is getting uh, interesting. Uh, okay, this doesn't look like it. It looks like something else. Oh, this is the Ank MK38. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, awesome. Let's... Uh, 
You know what? Is this a, is this in, intact? Yeah, this is entirely intact. You know what? Let's uh, just uh, recover this. Uh, no, I say recover. Oh, that actually puts us in a loading screen. Ah, sorry. Um, and let's finish that one up quickly with uh, finish that map exploration quickly with the ank. I was saying that we haven't even unlocked this yet, but I guess we have. And you know, that's how an engine should sound. Sound. <laughs> that's how an, how's an engine should sound. Deep, low, growly. I think this is an off road truck. I don't exactly know. I'll have a look at it in the uh, menu after. We just get this uh, last uh, house here unlocked. It comes with off-road tires stock, so that's cool. And yep, indeed, we do have something here. Show task. Hi, name's Albert. I'm with the rescue service. Do you have any idea how many people go off trail and get lost in the mountains? Probably a lot, because I've rescued quite a few on my own. We used to have a lookout point nearby. Could you go and see what kind of shape it's in? Okay, that's probably the thing up here, if I'm not mistaken. What was this called again? No, no, mountain road? Yeah, mountain road, start. Yeah, I'll probably just uh, get this done off screen with uh, the Ank. No use uh, keeping you guys um, any more than uh, we already did already. We're reaching the 40 minute mark at this point. So uh, again, thanks for watching. If you like the type of content I make, uh, please do leave, do leave a like on this video. It helps me. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That's always useful. Uh, share the video if you really, really like it. Or just leave a comment down below telling me how much you liked it, how bad I'm playing the game, and what I should actually be doing maybe. <laughs> Instead of uh, mucking around Alaska in this kind of rusty ank, or is that camo? I think that's camo. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.